Here is the chicken coop I built. It's, uh, I made the beds four feet high. So they're empty right now because I'm cleaning it out. But I thought if a raccoon or anything got in here, that maybe it wouldn't be able to get up there to the beds and they'd be safe. But that's not true. They were not safe. We've lost quite a few. Um, I think five over the course of three or four months. But first, I know these are eight foot tall walls. These are old semi-trailer doors. You can see the metal that's coated with steel. I thought they would not be able to climb this and they were able to climb it. <laughs> so I put these blocks in here and I thought, well, there's there's no way they'd be able to pull that up, which that was screwed down. You can see a screw right there, but the screw pulled out of that. I'm going to have to reinforce that today. But every time we lost chicken, I fixed it up a little more. And I didn't, I never thought a raccoon would be able to get in here, but this is how it got in. And I don't know how. I really don't know how a raccoon pried this up. He first he climbed up the outside of the coop. These aren't going anywhere. Those haven't moved. But he must have pried this up, slipped in last night. I mean, I just don't understand how he got in here, but there's a window I put in here. It's covered with a wire mesh screen and he didn't get in through there. I thought that would be the weak spot, but he, while I stood outside of the front door here last night, we have a motion sensor light on the front of this thing. I stood out there with a shotgun and I thought he was going to come out through this screen and he went out through the back somehow. I'm pushing pretty hard on that. I don't think he could have. I mean, it's hard to believe he could have slid through that with a chicken. He took a chicken with him out of this thing. He didn't go out right through, through the joints and the top of the roof he must have gone over the wall there's no way else to get out of here and that's only about a two and a half inch gap when I'm pushing hard on it it's amazing how how this could have happened these walls are made of three quarter inch plywood there's no way that got he didn't pry his way out of there, although I am going to shore that up a little bit today. There's no way. Actually, I think that sheet's half inch, but either way, this sheet's half inch. I guess he could have... I guess he could have pried this out, but that's only... This is a three quarter inch piece of plywood on the bottom there. I just thought, no way. He could have, I guess he could have pried that open. But how could he have gotten in that way? That's something I guess I forgot to screw down when I built it. But. I just don't understand how he got in and out of here with a chicken. And 
And uh, when I finally caught up to him and confirmed that it was definitely a raccoon, he was climbing up and out. There's some chicken feathers down there. He was climbing up and over by this tree as the six foot chain link fence. And he was squeezing between this piece of plywood that's leaned up here. He climbed up the fence and out that area right there. And I, the chicken was flapping and, and uh, I couldn't save it, but I had just uh, treated the chicken for mites that day, and maybe the poison will kill the raccoon, I don't know, but this is a walnut tree, but um, I'm, I'm going to be working on shoring this up some more because that's only a couple inch gap how, how could he have gotten out there I think he got out by the roof somewhere that's where he definitely got out before I saw him flop out on the ground these are two four foot sheets of plywood so he fell eight feet and he was a big guy and he flopped on the ground hard and ran over the fence like it was nothing. And uh, I didn't get him. But I did a lot of shoring up after that and this is probably the worst part right here. But this is coated with steel. You'd think that he would not be able to get a grip on this to climb. But they are much craftier than I thought they would be. They are smarter than I thought they were. Got a lot of, a lot of work to do on it. There's my solar light from Amazon. Those are great. But, yep. Like and subscribe.